the Karya, the fourteenth and final chapter. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh, when thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Yerushalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rivaled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall Yahweh go forth and fight against those nations, as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Yerushalem, on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be cleft in the midst thereof, toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee by the valley of my mountains. For the valley of the mountains shall reach to Hazel. Yea, ye shall fr flee, like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Ozi Yahu, king of Yehuda, and Yahweh my God shall come, and all the holy ones with thee. And it shall become in that day that there shall not be light, the bright ones shall withdraw themselves, but it shall be one day which is known to Yahweh, not day and not night. But it shall become that at evening time there shall be light, and it shall become in that day that living waters shall go out from Yerushalem, half of them toward the eastern sea, and half of them toward the western sea. In summer and in winter shall it be, and Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall Yahweh be one, and his name one. All the land shall be made like the Rabah from Geba to Rimmon south of Yerushalem, and shall be lifted up, and shall dwell in her place. From Binyamin's gate, to the place of the first gate, to the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananael, to the king's wine presses. And men shall dwell therein, and there shall no more curse, and there shall be no more curse, but Yerushalem shall dwell safely. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh shall smite all the peoples that have warred against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their sockets, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Who wants to fight the people of the Lord? Who wants to battle against Jerusalem? Will you not take heed? to this prophecy that God will gather all nations to fight against Yerushalem so that he can destroy them. If your religion or your, your politics is teaching you that you should come and fight against Jerusalem, it looks like you're being prepared for a great slaughter. It would be wise for you to consider your religion is contrary to what God has revealed in Scripture. In the Scripture long before your religion came about. And it shall become in that day that a great tumult from Yahweh shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor, and Yehuda also shall fight at Yerushalem. And the wealth of all the nations round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and apparel, in great abundance. And so shall be the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the donkey, and of all the beasts that shall be in those camps, as that plague. And it shall become that every one that is left of all the nations that came against Yerushalem shall go up from year to year, to worship the King, Yahweh of hosts, and to keep the festival of tabernacles. Was it only for Jews? Is it only for Jews? Here every nation shall come and keep these festivals. If your religion is not teaching you that we should be keeping God's festivals, 
This is a different religion to what God gave to his people. Consider it. Religions all over the earth are setting up different festivals. Christmas, Easter, Ramadan, whatever. But not establishing what God commanded from the beginning. And what God will have us do even until the end. In the end, the final picture of it all is that people are doing what he commanded, not what these false religions have been teaching all this time. So pay attention to the word of God and stop lying. God did not give his commands for only the sons of Israel to keep. God did not say, thou shalt not murder, so that only the sons of Israel should not murder. God did not say, these are my festivals, so that only the sons of Israel should know it. We are supposed to become one with the sons of Israel who are faithful and keep the festivals together. And it shall become, I'm going to read that again, that every one that is left of all the nations that came against Yerushalem shall go up from year to year to worship the king Yahweh of hosts and to keep the festival of tabernacles and it shall be that whoso of all the families of the earth goeth not up to Yerushalem to worship the king Yahweh of hosts upon them there shall be no rain and if the family of Egypt Mithraim go not up and come not neither shall it be upon them there shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite the nations that go not up to keep the festival of tabernacles. Does God care if people who are of the nations don't come up and keep the festival of tabernacles? Well, obviously he does. He's going to withhold rain from them. They need that for their survival. It matters to God. Stop saying that it doesn't matter to God anymore. This is in the distant future. It's going to matter even until then. His festivals matter to him. If he matters to you, his festivals should matter to you too. Pay attention to his word. This shall be the punishment of Mithraim and the punishment of all the nations that go not up to keep the festival of tabernacles. In that day, there shall be upon the bells of the horses holy unto Yahweh, and the pots in Yahweh's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Yea, every pot in Yerushalem and in Yehudah shall be holy to Yahweh of hosts, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and boil therein. And in that day there shall be no more a Canaanite or a merchant in the house of Yahweh of hosts.